The little girl was only one year old. He was allowed to sit in the back trunk. His father didn't even care. Stepping on the gas pedal to increase inertia. The girl hits the back door of the car. The grumpy dad hits the brakes again. He was pushed forward again by inertia. After returning home, her parents went straight into the house, leaving only the little girl in the trunk of the car. Shaking her head, such heartless parents unexpectedly gave birth to a genius daughter. Just five months ago, he was able to write his own name, Mo Tiu, but his mother still didn't care. When mother bathed the little girl, she turned on the faucet next to her. The last time he was silent like this. It was still the last time. Mo Tiu Du, who is two years old, has mastered how to brush his teeth and wash his face. At the age of four, she took care of herself and dressed herself, even tying a bow tie. His parents didn't make breakfast for him, so he took matters into his own hands, first whisking the eggs well, then add flour, beet, then heat a pan and add oil. Heat for about half a minute. A rich and nutritious breakfast is complete. Then add a little color. Drop fresh flowers into the glass. Over breakfast. While reading the newspaper. At the age of four. He had read all the books in the house. He came and asked his father to buy him a new book. Books. Need books for what? Watching TV is great. Why don't you watch TV? Don't talk to me. Now Mo Tiu knew. That he was not like everyone in his family. Did the girl's parents know what she wanted? If parents refused to help him. So he could only rely on himself. Wait until everyone in the house is out. He alone went to the library across the street from his house. He took a book. And then sat on the sofa. Reading quietly. From then on. He regularly went to the library. Reading one book after another. In the blink of an eye. Two years later. The book also ranges from Bok Thao Nguyen to the Trinity. Where do these books come from? Library. Looks like you've never been to a library. You are four years old. Six and a half years. Six and a half years. If you really are six and a half years old, you should go to school. I also really want to go to school. I've been telling you for a long time that I have to go to school in September. But dad doesn't listen. Father took the book from his hand and tossed it aside. He asked his wife, Mo Tiu, how old was Mo Tiu? And he also said, that Mo Tiu is four years old. Mo Tiu doesn't want to argue. He says, he wants to go to school. But his father only gave him three words. It's impossible, since his father was a used car dealer. There were some unknown items, which Mo Tiu needed at home to receive. He took the money from the car sale the day before. Ask the child to calculate how much profit he can get. Mo Tiu here just thought about it and the calculations were done. All are astonished. His father tried to see if the answer was correct. But he thought, Mo Tiu was playing a trick. So he grabbed him by the collar and lifted him up. Then lock it in the room. At dinner, everyone watches TV. Only Mo Tiu was reading a book. This made the father unhappy. He said the books he saw were all rubbish. Mo Tiu read a sentence from the book. The father immediately retreated. He took the book and tore it up. Then he urged her to watch TV. Forcing him to do the same as them. Mo Tiu listened to his family's laughter. Look at the precious TV. His expression became even more serious. Then the TV exploded. Mo Tiu Da is not only a genius. But also has super strength. It's just that he hasn't realized it yet. The next day. Mo Tiu's father shop had a customer. He is a school principal. Always use violence to solve student problems. So his father decided to drop Mo Tiu off to school tomorrow. And of course, the first day Mo Tiu left, he witnessed the headmaster's unrestrained hegemony. There was once a student who was secretly eating candy during class and was caught by him. So he picked it up and threw it straight out the window. And today, he was going to show it off to Mo Tiu. He went towards Mo Tiu, but the target was not him but the girl behind him. Just because her braided hair is so beautiful. So he grabbed her hair, twirled it a few times, and threw it like an iron ball. Fortunately, there was another teacher who was beautiful and gentle. It was she who made Mo Tiu's future life more beautiful. On the first day of school, what is the answer for 13 plus 379? Students can immediately provide answers. 
So what about 13 times 379? Everyone in the class fell silent. Only Mo Tiu spoke up to answer. Mari was surprised, but also very confused. He doesn't even know what the right answer is. After using the test formula, Mo Tiu said the answer for each digit. Mo Tiu Da had talent that was rare and hard to find. So the teacher asked the principal. Let Mo Tiu go to a higher class. But the principal did not understand. He argued that Mari couldn't teach Mo Tiu. So that's why sent another teacher. But he himself was too cowardly to do it. But she couldn't bear to see talent go to waste. So she went to Mo Tiu's house to see her parents. But Mo Tiu's parents actually saw the teacher's kindness as a joke. Even that teacher is a lowly profession. For Mo Tiu to study higher, it was just a waste of time. Mary watched her parents. When he makes excuses to leave, he secretly gave Mo Tiu a book. Mo Tiu used his mouth to express his thanks. And then at school, the principal did not consider what Mo Tiu had to offer. He stands in front of everyone, scolding him for 10 minutes. Scream until the throat is dry. While pouring the water, he didn't notice that there was a four-legged snake in the water. But he immediately brought it to his mouth to drink. The students sitting below were all talking and trying to hold back their laughter. Wait until he swallows all the water in his stomach and screams that he is afraid of snakes. Mo Tiu raised his hand. The principal even thought that he wanted to hurt her. But Mo Tiu only corrected his words. He says it's not snake but lizard. Even if 7 times 3 equals 21. The principal also wanted to punish him. Mo Tiu was so angry that he couldn't do anything about it. So he decided to use his superpowers. The glass filled with water immediately shattered. The lizard jumped on top of the principal. Unexpectedly, the notorious headmaster was afraid of small animals. After school, Mo Tiu dared to tell Mari that what happened earlier was his fault. Then he would prove it to Mary. But nothing happened. Mari looked at Mo Tiu and was slightly displeased. Because no one believed his words. So he invited Mo Tiu to his house to play. As the two passed the principal's house. He told Mo Tiu a story. Twenty years ago. The owner of this house was a very happy family of three. The two-year-old lost his mother. And his father was too busy with work. So he asked the boy's aunt to take care of him. But then his father died. Then the aunt took over the house. And the child was Mary. The headmaster was someone in the house. And the thing he wanted most back was the doll his mother had made. But because he was so afraid of his aunt. He did not set foot in the house for 20 years. Mo Tiu Nadi said that he would help her. He takes advantage of the principal's absence. And makes Mari sneak in. Two people find the doll in the room. But at this moment, the headmaster's voice sounded again. And he found someone had touched his things. The two quickly separated and fled. Hiding under the table. Shivering. The principal flipped the tablecloth. But found nothing. As it turned out. He had swung his four limbs at the four corners of the table. Mary deliberately making noise. Lure the principal to leave. The two then fled through the back door. Seeing the principal's terror. The two decided not to set foot in this house again. Mo Tiu's mouth froze. He agreed. However, the story of helping Mari get back the little doll is etched in her heart. Returning home, he seems to have found the key to activating superpowers. It was for his father who bullied him. Dad what do you want? Can a father bully a child? Stay away from us. Please bully me just once. Are you angry? father's anger, mother's carelessness, bullying of brother, the grievances he suffered, could trigger at least some control over his superpowers. Now he doesn't need any external power to control things easily, just in time to use the two cops as guinea pigs. So Mo Tiu's father bought auto parts illegally, repaired a used car and shot it, so that the police immediately found out that they broke into people's homes without permission. And Mo Tiu used the legal knowledge he read in the library. Dan advised the two of them to go back. Then started their car again. Let the car go home and he has to do a big job tonight. This girl is not only a genius. He can also control things with his mind. Her sister still wanted to bully her. But Mo Tiu froze and stopped the carrot in midair. 
The shy sister was threatened with freezing. The apricot pepper adjusts the carrot to spin. Rotate 720 degrees in the air. Fly right into the fat man's mouth. This was the first time in six years that Mo Tiu had been able to repay him. And now he wanted to do something big. He ran to the principal's house and went upstairs to the garage. Help his teacher get the doll back. After he's done he decides to teach the principal a lesson. The first is speeding up the clock. Give him goosebumps. Then adjust the cord so it hits the tree branch. Cause the light to suddenly darken. And then move the entire picture hanging on the wall. Put into the fire. A cold feeling gradually creeps in. And then bring the homeowner's photo back into place. Looking at the photo of his brother-in-law who had been dead for years. He finally knew fear. Hastily ran out to repel. But a second later. A hair tie was blown into the front of his car. He brought it up to his nose to kiss her. He already knew who was toying with her. The next day. Mo Tiu brought the doll to Mari. Suddenly the principal appears. Saying that he will wake up for Mari today. Mari started to get scared. She wanted Mo Tiu to return the doll to another room. Mo Tiu said. That he got it thanks to his super strength. No one would know. Let's not believe such strange things. Mo Tiu adjusted his expression. Water bottles flying in the air. Mari insists it was just a coincidence. Pressing the water bottle with her hand without realizing it. Failed once. Then twice. This time let's react. And the news that Mo Tiu Da had superpowers. Suddenly sounded to the principal. He was furious and told Mo Tiu to hurry up and line up. He then uses violence to overwhelm the student's morale. Afraid of making it easy to open the gap. She held out her hairband. Threw it on the ground and stepped on it. Scolded a man and pointed at Mo Tiu. Seeing the matter unfold. Mari comes to his aid. Saying that she had snuck into his house yesterday. She also said. That she was no longer the little girl that year. The children all looked surprised. Not expecting the principal to be Mary's aunt. But a thick faced person like him was nothing. He grabbed Mo Tiu's neck. Mo used his super strength again. Write down the names of the properties he owns. Also told him to quickly return the money to Mary's house. Then he controlled the whiteboard cleaner. To fly straight at the principal. Crushing it. Painful inside and out. He immediately fainted. She thought everything would end here. The students slowly approached. Suddenly he opened his eyes to scare them again. Then pick up a child and throw it out the window. But it didn't make it difficult for Mo Tiu. He let his classmates fly in the air. Then hit the principal again. Good people bothered him too much. Now is the best time to reply. After turning 360 degrees. It flew away. At this point. He still wouldn't stop. Seeing someone standing alone wanted to catch them. Mo Tiu jerked his head slightly. The black girl flew as high as two meters. The principal slammed the door again. Usually used to do bad things. Today. Students from all over the school came to see him off. The more they hit. The more they love him. Finally. The principal couldn't stand the student's love for him. And disappeared from everyone's sight. Let's go back to the house his father left for him. Mo Tiu Da also often came to visit. Suddenly. His parents rushed to the car. Because Mo Tiu's father's company was doing a legal business. They were discovered. Currently preparing to take Ma Tiu away. But he says he likes Mari and doesn't want to leave. His mother said that a rebellious child like him would not need him. Mari immediately refuted. Saying that Mo Tiu was kind and intelligent. But Mo Tiu also prepared everything. Hopefully Mari can adopt him and retrieve the adoption form from his backpack. All these things he learned from law books in the library. The siren of the approaching police car. If you do not decide to study. You will not be able to escape in time. What do you think? Rare item. You are my only daughter. Mo Tiu did. But there's no way I can understand you. Not even a little. Anyone have a pen. Since Mo Tiu was born until now. This was probably the best decision his parents made for him. In the following days. Mari took Mo Tiu to places. Where he used to play when he was a child. Decided not to need a man. The two of them led a simple life together. Mari and Mo Tiu were now more like mother and daughter.